Meta SAM2 is completely crazy. Meta has launched a new version of Segment Anything model, which they launched a couple of months ago, SAM. The SAM V2 has been launched yesterday at SIGGRAPH, I guess. And this model has been insane. It, I mean, it is a model that can help you do a lot of different things. Like tracking this object. This is a model that can help you segment images. A lot of different things. This model can help you segment images, but also can help you track images or track objects. If you're not familiar with image segmentation, image segmentation is one of the fundamental tasks of computer vision. For example, if you got a camera and the camera is looking at something. Now, when it looks at something, the first thing that it has to do is it has to detect an object. It, it has to find out that there is something. And image segmentation plays a huge role in it. Whether you are trying to use a self-driving car or you're trying to just track a ball in a football court or you're trying to track a car or you're trying to track somebody who is running, anything what you want to do, you first have to segment that part, segment that object, that is object segmentation. And after you do that, you can classify that, like what kind of object it is. Then you can track that if it is moving. So this is one of the most fundamental computer vision tasks and segment anything model is quite good at. The latest version is completely insane. There are a couple of use cases that Meta is discussing in this uh, initial launch. We're going to see everything, including the demo. I'm working on the Google Collab notebook right now. There is a lot of moving pieces. So probably in a couple of days, I'll actually share the Google Collab notebook with you. For now, what Meta has done here is that they have released this new model that they call as Segment Anything 2, which is SAM2. SAM was quite revolutionary. So if you go to Meta's website, you can actually see that uh, people have been using SAM on a lot of different things. Like uh, people are using to identify coral reef. Um, this is one popular use case. I myself have done it. Uh, I think it's part of some global coral reef uh, detection system. So where you can train these models, you can help them create training data using uh, SAM. And uh, you can see that SAM is pretty good with what it does. It is good with images. It is good with um, uh, moving objects as well. So for example, in this case, the boy is continuously moving and uh, SAM is pretty good in noticing even when the boy is actually moving. And there is one more demo that is quite impressive. So Meta lets you track a part of an object. For example, the baseline model that they've got tracks the whole human being. But Meta at the start, you would have noticed that uh, they pretty clearly indicate that they want to only tra track the shirt, not the head and everything. And it does a pretty good job of that. And there are a lot of different places where the model is absolutely insane, whether it is like a football here, where you specifically say that you don't want to track the shoe, but you want to track the ball. It does a pretty good job. Uh, so overall, this is an excellent announcement. There are a lot of uh, nitty gritty details about it. But in short, this announcement has got a Meta SAM2 code and weights. They are sharing the model with us. The model has been shared under Apache 2.0 license, which means you can do anything you want. Now, whenever I say you can do anything you want, you might start thinking that what am I going to do with that? The very first thing is, for example, I don't know how many of you have seen this. A lot of times you would see YouTubers separating their friend self and putting a text behind them. And that is primarily possible thanks to object segmentation. So Meta has got a, a, a small uh, demo for that. For example, if you go here and then you can actually see that there is a bird and the bird has been segmented and then split out of the background and there's a text overlay there and then the bird has been put back. And this kind of effect is possible because of models like this. And Meta seems to be that Meta implies that more people will use it in commercial setup. And the other use cases, for example, you've got three balls, you can track these balls exactly, you can add effects to these balls. And there are a lot of other places where you want to add effects. Like for example, you've got a moving object, you want to track that person and then add an effect just behind that person. And for you to add that effect, you should be able to track that person, you should be able to segment that person. And that is exactly what you're seeing here. So in a lot of commercials and a lot of photo editing, video editing applications, this is going to play an insane role in putting an open source model with commercially permissive license into the hands of developers. So that is one great thing. The second thing is uh, they have also shared a very important data set, a wide range of data available here. So SAV data set has got all the things that they've used to uh, train this model. So this is 
allowing a permissive large scale video data set. So it has got a lot of information and it has got a lot of information from different parts of the country. So one of the demos that they've got is a, a, a lady with a sari, which is a dress Indian women wear. So they, they showed that a lady with a sari dancing. So they have got a data set from all over the world. So that is another good thing. And uh, finally, they have got this uh, demo that uh, we can all use it. So the demo is available for us to use it. So if you go to sam2.metademolab.com, you can go see here, click the button, try now. First time they'll ask you to accept something. At this point, I, I don't know what data I'm giving permission to. So this is one more data. And here you can just upload anything you want. For example, I can go change the video. Uh, for example, I'm going to select this and once we select this, the video gets loaded and you can select an object. You can select an object here and uh, let's not select it. Let's remove this object. Let's remove this one and uh, remove, remove and we are just keeping that and then we're going to track the object. So you can see the object tracking has started and you can pretty much see where the cup is going. So at the end you would know that the cup is there so this is a very cool way to create a lot of games and a lot of other things and as you can see here it is pretty fun one thing is like you see here what we are doing is we are trying to track the object and uh, the other thing that is what is happening here is that simply that you are able to segment the image for example you have got the dog here and first thing first is you need to segment the image and this is honestly like a very important thing for a lot of self-driving cars you often hear self-driving cars not able to read the signs not able to understand the sign the fact that they are going to read the sign in the first place is uh thanks to an image segmentation model and i'm not sure how much you follow self-driving cars as a theme that there are two different school of thoughts one is the lidar based thought waymo if you see the google company it's a very heavy lidar based car so you've got like the top crown at the top that sends constantly LiDAR scans everything makes a 3D image of it. If you have got the latest iPhone, you know that, you know, you've got the LiDAR sensor and it creates a worldview. But then you've got the second school of thought, which is the Elon Musk school of thought, which is like, okay, I don't need to do any LiDAR stuff. Uh, all I have to do is uh, put a bunch of cameras, record them in real time. I can segment everything and then I can do um, computer vision. And this model, this model particularly supports that school of thought. So it says that, I mean, it is insane. Like a few years back, if you had told anybody that you're going to do something like this, it would have been insane that people wouldn't have believed that this is quite possible. Now, what you can do is not only just, you can segment a static image or part of a video, but you can pretty much track that throughout the video. Like if you have got a video, you can track that throughout the video. And that is pretty insane how effectively you can do that. The object goes behind another object and all these things are possible thanks to, thanks to the latest model from Meta, the SAM2. See, but the point here is that the model is not without any issue. The model itself has some kind of issues uh, still, like it might uh, lose track of objects. And uh, there are certain cases where the model might not do well, um, especially when the object is moving faster. And this is a problem that you would have also heard from Apple Vision Pro reviewers. So when you wear Apple Vision Pro, when you are in a fast moving train or in an airplane, I think airplane is fine, I guess, maybe in a fast moving train, uh, because you are in a high, high speed motion, it uh, loses track of what it sees. Again, this model could be helping there. I'm not sure if segmentation would help there, but at least tracking and a lot of other things could be helping in a lot of different places in the world where we live in. And um, I guess this is an exciting model. I cannot wait to put out the Google Collab Notebook and then give it to you all for you to try it out. But meanwhile, you can go to this particular demo from uh, Facebook and then try it out. Let me know what you think about this model. If you have felt any use case or any application for this kind of model, See you in another video. Happy prompting.